Welcome back to another video from Celebrate Truth. I'm Robbie Davidson, and we're getting into a good one today. Ask a scientist, is the Earth flat? Okay, let's ask the scientists, and let's just see what they have to say. You're going to love this one, because this is crazy. This is probably the most silliest article I've read in a long time, but let's get into it so everyone can have a good laugh, just like I did. Kyrie Irving recently said that the Earth is flat. Is this legit or not? Irving isn't the only celebrity who has said the Earth is flat. Shaquille O'Neal recently claimed it, although this turned out to be a joke. Rapper B.O.B. has tweeted about it too, but actually stuck to the idea. Back in January, B.O.B. fired off a ton of tweets about the flat Earth. This attracted the attention of famous scientist Neil deGrasse Tyson and a rap battle was instigated. Seriously. You gotta Google this B.O.B. and the notorious N.D.T. got into a rap battle about the shape of the earth and now Kyrie Irving, of all people, supports this idea? What's going on here? All right, we have to admit that we were thrown off by this. Okay, the scientists are thrown off by this and rightfully so, but let's just get into how they think uh, and what they have to say and why we shouldn't believe it. Most of us wouldn't even give this theory a second thought. We would just dismiss the idea right away. The Earth is round. Isn't this something we all just know? But it turns out that celebrities aren't the only ones that support the flat Earth theory. There's even a whole society dedicated to the idea. Of course, they always turn to the flat Earth society. More on that later. What? So, what's the reasoning behind the flat Earth? And what does science tell us about it? Oh, this should be good. Generally, flat earthers point to a few things as proof of their theory. We'll pull some examples used by B.O.B. He says the horizon is always eye level and that you can't see the curve of the earth. Okay, sure, but it's all about perspective. Humans are really tiny creatures when compared to the size of the earth. Earth is huge. It's approximately 8,000 miles in diameter. To go straight through from one side to the other would be the same distance as taking a flight from New York to Los Angeles nearly four times in a row. We can barely see a fraction of that distance with our eyes. How could we possibly see the curve? Okay, let's just talk a little bit about this curve. If the Earth is a sphere cruising at 30,000 feet, all right? If the Earth was a sphere, airplane pilots would have to constantly correct their altitude downwards so as to not fly into outer space. If the Earth were truly a sphere, 25,000 miles circumference, curving eight inches per mile squared, a pilot wishing to simply maintain their altitude at a cr typical cruising speed of 500 miles per hour would have to constantly dip their nose downward and descend 2,777 feet, over half a mile, every minute. Otherwise, without compensation of one hour's time, the pilot would find themselves 166,666 feet, that's 31.5 miles, higher than expected. A plane flying at a typical 35,000 feet, wishing to maintain that altitude at the upper rim of the so-called troposphere, in one hour would find themselves over 200,000 feet high into the mesosphere, with a steadily raising trajectory the longer they go. I've talked to several pilots, and no such compensation for the Earth's supposed curvature is ever made. When pilots set an altitude, their artificial horizon gauge remains level, and so does their course. Nothing like the necessary 2,777 foot per minute declination is ever taken into consideration. And this is the fact. Now, what they'll probably say is, ooh, gravity is constantly sucking the plane down. And, of course, all their magical gravity comes into it. It's like, gravity, gravity, gravity. But the claim that we're so tiny that we can't even see the curve, the question is, how high do you need to go? People claim they can see it from a beach. What about the ships going over the horizon excuse they always use? Look, see, we can see the ship go over the horizon. Therefore, it's round. And looking at our peripheral, we can kind of see that as curvature. And then you get people that go up higher. Many people have claimed out of their plane window they see the curvature. I did it video actually uh, it's posted and you can see the fact that all of the videos all the pictures that are always done uh, from plain windows are brought in to Photoshop with measuring tools with rulers and the there is no curvature the horizon is straight so let's continue on imagine that we're really far away from Earth's service if the earth is round eventually we'll see its curve flat earthers claim that this is impossible you just need a lot of distance and a wide angle the pictures, like those shown by B.O.B., aren't far enough away from Earth or don't have the view angle needed to capture the curve. Many satellite images produced by groups from NASA and SpaceX and beyond have the right amount of distance, 
Oh, okay. So NASA and SpaceX are the only ones that can get the right distance to see the soap called curvature of the earth or get even a shot of the earth a quick google search shows some really incredible photos that these satellites are taking oh wow let's look at this technology shall we oh i'm so excited oh there we go now look at this i did a search for satellite pictures of the earth pictures of earth taken by satellites this is what we're going to believe most recently was this famous one here the moon shot where the satellite went supposedly 1 million miles exactly um, start try to comprehend that distance and uh, just getting there perfectly uh, perfect nice shot of this uh, time lapse of the dark side of the moon going across anyways if you want to believe it go ahead this is absolutely silliness now maybe we should take something like this more seriously when it comes to or maybe down here let's look at this one there we go maybe that's a real image yeah okay that's just more believable we're told that we have like something like 20,000 satellites you know up there you know of course with GPS and everything and maybe we should see more pictures like this but if you want to believe this is real wow I don't know what to say to you, but that's the reality is all the pictures taken. There are no other satellites. There is nothing because they aren't there. They show you pictures like this and this. And seriously, this is what we would maybe see. But we're not seeing that. We're seeing, well, no stars, black darkness. And of course, the Earth changes shapes depending on its mood, depending on what year it is. It morphs, continents uh, expand and shrink. And it's just ridiculous. But look at this. Look at these satellites. Look at this. There's like th like thousands, tens of thousands of them in here. And these are just fake images. But again, we want to actually expose this because again, this article is claiming that, hey, go do a Google search and look at all the beautiful photos these satellites are taking. This is how far you gotta go away to actually see the curvature. So we're led to believe by this Ask a Scientist article that unless you get way out, <laughs> This is the only way you're actually going to see the curve in the month. This is absolutely getting silly. Crazy, right? But again, look at them. Scientists are big on probability, right? Google search shows some really incredible photos. Yeah, really incredibly phony and silly and nonsense is what it is. CGI renderings, even NASA admits these are all fake. Go do the research yourself. You might be shocked to learn that all that stuff you've been believing to be true is a lie. Now, flat earthers might claim that these pictures are photoshopped. Uh, yeah, that's kind of what we're doing. Luckily, oh, oh, wait a minute. We have evidence for a round earth using other planets. Oh, I see. So, I guess if you agree also it's photoshopped, then you've got the evidence. All right, now what's this empirical scientific evidence that you're going to give? Oh, other planets. All right, first of all, the Bible is very clear. There's a sun, moon, and also stars. For anyone listening to this that's a Christian, believes in the Bible, anyone that even takes it seriously, understand that God never created planets. One of the biggest lies that we've ever been told is that Earth is a planet. It is a plane. They added a T to the end of it to incredible, just to actually get this deception so penetrating into people's minds because you hear this all the time what about other planets everything else is rounded you're saying everything else is flat everything else isn't spherical and this is actually a huge deception and i can't even believe that they actually bring this in to ask a scientist article first of all we're not getting any empirical science we're not getting any anything that's verifiable and this should be a red flag for anyone looking at this because science is about the investigation about knowledge about experimentation and we're getting this, right? Flat earthers might claim these pictures are Photoshop. Ah, it's okay. Luckily, we have evidence for a round earth using other planets. <laughs> Think about the planets. You've heard of just in our solar system. Another lie. Right there, another lie, huge lie. So two lies. We've seen those planets and many more. Yeah, we've seen, uh, what was it? Uh, Trappist-1, 18 billion light years away, uh, pixelated crap. Yeah, we've seen that too, haven't we? And that's kind of your new breaking discoveries. The Earth could be an exception, true, but that would make it the only non-round planet we've ever found, which would be groundbreaking development. Therefore, a flat Earth becomes highly unlikely just based on what we've seen in our universe. Scientists are big on probability, and a 0% discovery rate for other flat planets gives some pretty good odds for a round Earth. Anyways, 
this is one of the hugest things I want to point out in this article because again one of the biggest lies is everything else that we see is spherical or round so therefore we must be round I mean this is insane it's like it's like saying all the pool balls on a pool table therefore the pool table must be round because the balls are round it is absolutely silly logic but yet they've completely perpetuated this entire deception to the point where we believe that we're on a planet find that anywhere in the bible that we are we are like everything else that god created we are unique we're special and again this is part of the destructive nature of this lie is to tear away the significance of earth god created it as the pinnacle he created everything else to revolve around it he created everything else as afterthoughts the sun moon and stars were created after the earth the earth was created first and everything else was created afterwards so if you're going to believe in the big bang cosmology you're going to believe in the heliocentric universe you have some big problems to address as far as the order now the bible is very clear on the order and it is important because again it shows that basically the significance the purpose of man being created on earth but earth being special unlike anything else out there now they'll say anything out there in the universe though are spinning balls the fact is we're not spinning we're not moving we're not flying through the galaxy at untold speeds this is nonsense it's crazy but so many people want to hold on to this so tightly and yet it's so destructive we are not on a spinning ball flying through space therefore we are stationary we are unique and different from anything else that we see up in the sky it's very clear in the bible read your bible show me where planets are found they're not in there the planets what we've been told are planets are wandering stars look into it start really using your mind on this and looking into everything everything that you're being taught all the pictures that they're showing you again they admit they're not real their data stitched together in renderings and theories and most of it is nonsense but yet we get into our final paragraph and this is where it all culminates and this is what I've been talking about here in the last couple of weeks even with my film scientism exposed understand science is good scientism however is not they love to say all of this is science but the reality is it's not there are very few things that we're finding these days that are true science most of it has been completely masqueraded in scientism and told that no it's science when no it's not settled the the, the debate is not over we're just getting started guys let's read scientists are all about evidence and there is just there just isn't very good evidence to support the flat earth theory in the end the theory points to a bigger problem oh here we go science denial and again this is the big thing they're going to be using continually i've addressed this on a bunch of videos even recently they're going to lump us in with like science terrorists and science denial and these guys are dangerous and these guys don't believe in climate change and they don't believe in evolution how dare them and oh my goodness it's child abuse to teach children anything other than our you know propaganda scientism our false you know deceptive belief system that's completely Completely leading people astray and it's just one big lie but yet we're going to be labeled science deniers I've said before that I am a scientism denier and proud of it and hopefully a lot of people are as well we're not science deniers we're using science to combat this absolutely silly article ask the scientists so far not really impressed hopefully any scientists that are maybe watching this video tell me if you're even impressed by this Bring real true science to the table, not fake imagery from NASA and nonsense spouting off what Neil deGrasse Tyson does by dropping mice on the stage and saying that's gravity. Gravity is a myth. It's not even verifiable. It's not even been measured or, you know, nothing. We can get into gravity in another video, but let's just continue on. It comes in all shapes and sizes these days. Science denial. As scientists, it's easy for us to quickly dismiss ideas that deny science and that can be part of the problem too by not having honest discussions about different ideas we scientists appear to be unapproachable and uninterested and that drives people away here at ask a scientist we'd like to change that we're working to bring you trustworthy science that's accessible and fun Ooh, this should be fun now let's have some fun with ask a scientist we've got ask your questions reach out to Scott satin over he's a phd student he can be reached at there is his email everyone 
contact Scott. Maybe also, if you have a question or want to join our organization, maybe you want to join your organization so that you can actually start actually affecting real change and actually applying real science, not just nonsense like this article. This is an embarrassment, an embarrassment to all scientists. It really should be. Um, just <laughs> go to this article yourself, you know, contact the Scott guy, maybe contact also the, the actual organization itself ask a scientist and see if they actually even reply. Maybe ask them to demonstrate, you know, the experiment that we can all do that supports the movement of the earth. How about that we can do an experiment that proves the measured curvature of the earth rather than saying that we are small little ants on a big surface, therefore we can't see it. You know, especially when we have so many people saying at high altitudes, you can easily see the curve, uh, people claiming they can see it from airplanes. Um, but maybe they'll send back pictures like this and say, see, see, we told you, look at all those satellites. They exist and they're taking great pictures like this one. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That's our Earth. And we got that satellite way out, million miles away. You can definitely see curvature, can't you? That's us. Ask a scientist. Reach out to us. We'd love to talk to you. And we like to teach you science. We love science because we aren't science deniers. Anyways, let's keep exposing the lies. Celebrate truth. Blessings. Take care.